there are five regularly occurring grebes, all of which are relatively straightforward to identify whilst in breeding plumage. But in winter, all show variations on black, grey and white patterning, and this can cause confusion. The key to identifying winter grebes lies with their size, structure and pattern, with the two extremes in size and structure being by far the two most familiar species, the small, stocky little grebe, or dabchick, and the large, elegant, great crested grebe. In addition to the initial similarities between the grebes in winter, identification is often complicated by the fact that these birds are frequently encountered offshore, where views may be distant or brief. However, thankfully, the identification features we will be looking at in this video will allow us to identify grebes from close or distant views. Red-necked grebe is the rarest of the five species, with between 50 to 100 wintering birds. It is also the most similar to great crested grebe, with a very slightly smaller body size, but with a much shorter neck, giving a squatter appearance. Both these species are likely to be encountered offshore on salt water in the winter. Both species retain a black crown in winter, but in red-necked grebe this black extends down and includes the eye. In great crested grebe, however, the eye is clearly and obviously isolated from the crown, but joined to the beak by a characteristic dark line. In all plumages, the chest, cheek and neck front of great crested grebe is shining white, whereas in red neck grebe there is a white chest and cheek, but the neck front is distinctively smoky grey, and this important feature is visible from any distance. With closer views, the bill colour is another good separating characteristic. On great crested grebe it is uniquely pink, and on red necked grebe, yellow with a black tip. So, to recap, the key features of red neck grebe are body size similar to great crested grebe, with a much shorter neck, clear black crown covering the eye, smoky neck framed by white cheek and white chest, and a yellow based dagger like bill. It is worth noting that in late summer and through autumn, juveniles of both these species can show a shadow of their stripy juvenile plumage on their faces. These stripy cheeks, however, are the only thing. All the other distinctive features remain valid. The next species to be considered are Slavonian and Blackneck grebes, and firstly these have to be separated from Little Grebe. Little Grebe is the smallest of the grebes, in structure like a duckling or even a powder puff. In winter plumage they lack very strong black markings and, of all the species, are the least grey-toned, displaying smoky brown plumage. Both Slavonian and Blackneck grebe show very strong black and white plumage patterns and, at close range, both also exhibit glowing red eyes and black bills, as opposed to Little Grebe's dark eye and dark bill with a distinctive pale spot at the base. Little Grebe is also the species least likely to be found on salt water, this being the favourite habitat of both Blacknecked and Slavonian grebes. Having decided that the small grebe you are looking at is not a Little Grebe, how do you separate Slavonian from Blacknecked grebe? This identification challenge can baffle even experienced bird watchers. Slavonian grebe is the most common of the two, with some 1,000 to 1,500 birds in any winter almost exclusively on saltwater habitats. Although only slightly larger than little grebe in body size, the whole bird appears much more elegant, with a longer body, more like a miniature great crested grebe in fact. There is a crisp black cap and a stout dagger-shaped bill, which does have a pale tip which is often visible at surprising distances. The head shape is domed or gently sloping, with the peak at the rear of the crown, and the cheeks are shining white and extensive, almost meeting at the back of the head, leaving just a narrow black line at the nape. Black neck grebe, on the other hand, is found on large reservoirs, usually traditional sites, as well as offshore. Much rarer, there are between 100 and 150 birds in any winter. Although larger than Slavonian grebes, black neck grebes are short necked and dumpy in shape, like oversized little grebes. The head shape is utterly distinctive with a very steep forehead and the peak is above the eye on the top of the head. The black cap is not clear cut and has a dark grey bulge down behind the eye, obscuring the centre of the white cheek. The bill is short and the lower mandible is sharply angled upwards. 
Overall, with a slightly duskier neck and rear quarters, black neck grebes appear much less clean-cut than Slavonian grebes.